I hear the rain falling. The jailer is the key. Kill him and you'll be free. Fight for your freedom. Released in 2016 and developed by the game Bakers, an independent video game studio, Fury is what I would call a hardcore action fighting game. When it was first released, I had not really paid attention to this game, and oh boy, I was missing out. Let's jump right into the review. The game is structured around the boss rush mechanic. You go from one big fight to another. For this, the game has two phases. The first is the fights against the boss, the second is walking to the next fight. At first, the walking phase between each boss can be frustrating, sometimes even annoying, as you have all your adrenaline pumping from the last fight. But now you have to wait for the next one, and you just walk. But you don't just walk, there is more to it than that. During the walking phase, someone is talking to you, and as you listen to him, you learn more about your next opponent, his convictions, why he's here. You also learn why you are here, and who you are. I don't know much about you. I've heard some bad stuff, and what I've seen, well... <laughs> but we have one thing in common, you and I. We have nothing to lose. For every day we are locked away up here. We have nothing. We've lost. I like this kind of narration, especially in this game. It is subtle, yet impactful, and makes the downtime between fights more interesting. Let's talk about those fights now, shall we? The fights can be really tough, with some long and intense battles, but the gameplay itself is really simple. You have your gun and your sword. You can shoot with your gun, attack with your sword, dash and block. You can charge each weapon for better damage, but that's about it. And this never changes during the entire game. These are your tools to beat the game. Now you need to learn how to use them and raise your own skills. Each boss has their own personality patterns and fighting area. They have multiple life bars, each life bar split in two phases. The first phase is structured around long and short fighting range, with a lot of projectiles to dodge and attacks to block. The second phase is only close combat, and I tell you now, I hope you have good reflexes because you will have to block their fast movements. Blocking is really important as it replenishes your health, so you've got to really work on your blocking skills. The game might appear frustrating at the beginning, Learning patterns and improving your skills really make you want to move forward and continue the game. The only way to do it is to freaking do it. The graphics look really simple, but the environments are efficient and really shine. With the technique of cell shading, the game appears really colorful and alive, if I may say so. The studio even had a chance to work with Takashi Okazaki, the creator of Afro Samurai, which I also recommend for the art direction and character design. I think you can feel it just by looking at the main character. And now to finish, let's talk about the masterpiece that is the soundtrack of this game. Toxic Avenger, Wave Shaper, Carpenter Brute. Each track of this game is like some kind of eargasm. Each fight, each walking phase, it is here to prepare you for the next step. And it's here to help you do it. I don't want to talk about the story, because I would only spoil it for people who have not played. Let's just say that you're in prison and you have to fight your way out. It's simple, but more death will come later. As for the play time, it all depends on your skill. It can take 2 hours or it can take 50 hours. And when you finish the game, you unlock a new difficulty level that changes all the fights dramatically. I really really love this game. I love it so much that I bought it on PC and Nintendo Switch and also bought the soundtrack on vinyl. The game just shines with its simplicity and efficiency. It is original and, in my opinion, perfect. Even if sometimes the hitboxes can feel a little bit clunky, or you might break your keyboard or controller in anger, it still remains an excellent game. And that is why I give this absolute masterpiece a 10 out of 10 80s guy seal of approval. 
hope you guys enjoyed this review. As the feedback has been very good, we are going to try to keep a schedule of one review per week and keep adding more cool content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you feel like it, support the channel on Patreon. Stay rad!